What's up guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be trying two popular products from two very popular YouTubers. One is the Feastables Chocolate Bar by Mr. Beast and the second one is the Prime Energy Drink by Logan Paul and KSI. So I live in India and it's pretty hard to get these. I mean Prime is available for quite some time now but it's very expensive. I mean it was like 1500 rupees which is probably about 15 bucks. Yes, $15 for one bottle of this energy drink. Finally, I saw it at a place and I was able to get it for quite cheap. Uh, it's still very expensive. It's 600 rupees, which is like, I guess, $8, $8 for one bottle. I don't know what's the price in USA, but I think it's quite cheap in USA. This Feastables bar, chocolate bar, again, is quite expensive. I mean, you know, these I saw for the first time and this I got it for again, you know, 590 rupees, which is uh, about roughly about eight, nine, bucks us so you know i was just curious as to what mr beast is doing you know i've, I've heard some mixed reviews about this chocolate bar i got the mr beast bar crunch milk chocolate with puffed rice this is the puffed rice one and this is the strawberry watermelon flavor of the hydration drink i think i'm gonna go with the prime first By the way, you know, just judging by the bottle, uh, cool bottle, it's a nice bottle. It says on the instructions over here. Prime hydration strawberry and watermelon, strawberry and watermelon flavored drink with sweeteners, five ml, one serving. Ingredients, water, reconstituted powder, coconut water, acid, citric acid, mineral salt, flavoring, sweet potato concentrate, carrot concentrate, cherry concentrate, sweeteners, sucralose, amino acids, like vitamin E stabilizers, gum, arabic, gum, acacia, glycerol, ester woods of rosin, vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin B12. It does not have sugar, but it does have some artificial sweeteners, diet potassium phosphate flavoring agent so it does have some artificial flavoring agent so not completely natural probably better than gatorade though mm. this is actually nice you know guys i do taste strawberry there's more of strawberry but there's a aftertaste of watermelon like the the moment it hits you it smells like strawberry and tastes like strawberry but when you gulp it down it's more like watermelon it's good i mean say what you want to say about this uh, you might like it, you might not like it, but I really like it. And, and I think this strawberry watermelon must be a good flavor. I don't think anybody would dislike it, you know. This is nice, guys. Like, uh, like it tastes pretty natural. And I'm just gonna say it's nice. I can see why people like this. But I will say that it is pretty different. The combination of strawberry and watermelon is very different it's kind of unique surprises your taste buds a bit that's what i would say you know before reading the ingredients i was like i was kind of skeptical about it that i don't know how it's gonna be but it's a good it's a good one so let's get into it the packaging is really nice it's like a you know bacha kid packaging kids would really like it again quite expensive in here in india puff rice flavor Mm. It says share on the chocolate bar. I have nobody to share over here. Quite soft in texture. When I broke it, it's really soft. <clears throat> I mean it tastes like regular chocolate. There's nothing special about it. I mean I'm I'm sorry Mr. Beast. Mm, it's it's nice chocolate, but uh, that being said, I have tasted a lot of better chocolates than this. Uh lint and Swiss chocolates are definitely 100% better than this. This kind of chocolate is very common. There's this big brand in India called Amul which makes better chocolate than this. You know, I don't understand the hype about it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not criticizing it, it's nice, it's tasty, but as I was surprised with this one, when I drank it, I actually 
tasted strawberry and watermelon and it was a bit different this is different you know like that is how i would describe it like you pick up an energy drink nowadays you pick up a monster or you pick up a red bull and you know you like it but since you have gotten accustomed to that taste you know what to expect from an energy drink this one when i tasted it it felt different you know so it felt like it was pushing the boundaries a bit it was changing something it was different than what i would expect it to be this one is just normal chocolate i mean hershey's is better than this hershey's or you know let me try it one more time it's nice don't get me wrong i'm not criticizing it i mean the idea of this puff rice chocolate with puff rice that's nice it's unique but as far as the chocolate taste is concerned it's common it's not something out of this world it's not like you know when you have that swiss chocolate godiva or you know swiss chocolates you just know that there's something extra creamy something different about this this one is not so different it's really good it's really good chocolate don't get me wrong it's really good but it's not like as i said with this it was different there's nothing different about it apart from the pop rice thing if you are into that kind of thing so thanks for watching this was my review of the prime strawberry watermelon flavor and mr b's chocolate this one is i think moving the industry this one is quite different i would agree this one is also really nice but there's nothing much different about the chocolate both are good products overall thanks for watching bye